Are you going to the gym? It's 8 p.m. You shouldn't be working out so close to your bedtime. It'll ruin your sleep. Actually, there isn't any good data to back that up. What the research does show is that exercise and sleep appear to be mutually beneficial. For that reason, sleep scientist Rebecca Robbins encourages people to exercise, even if it's close to bedtime. I'm such a good sleeper. I can fall asleep anywhere, anytime, almost instantly. We asked Robbins about this one, and she told us that it should take a healthy, well-rested person about 15 to 20 minutes to fall asleep. I only need a few hours of sleep a night. Sleep when you're dead, I say. That's what I told myself when I was in my 20s too. But the research says you need seven to nine hours of sleep a night. Less than that, and it can lead to weight gain, diabetes, hypertension, impaired immune function, impaired performance, and impaired, 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 impaired and increased errors. A nightcap will help you sleep soundly. Cheers. This one's not true either. Drinking alcohol close to bedtime actually causes sleep disturbances and delays the onset of REM sleep. Life Kit has a whole newsletter series to actually help you get better sleep. Find it at npr.org forward slash sleep week.